Welcome to Excel Magic Trick 1910. And in this video, we got to see the dynamic range reference operator or as a second example to accomplish the same task, the spilled range operator. And we're going to use both of them inside of data validation. Yes, an unusual use for both. Now, this video is part of a trifecta. Last video, 1909, we created a unique list with all at the top. And we're going to use that list in this video with our data validation. And then we'll use both tricks, 1909 and 1910 in Excel Magic Trick 1911, to create a report, a complex report, in a really easy way. All right, here's that cool formula we created last video. It creates a unique list with the word all at the top. This formula is creating a unique list from region one, two products and sales rep. They're creating unique lists from these two columns. And the reason that we created these drop down lists is we need a data validation drop down list so we can simply select a condition or the word all, which means we want all the records from the region column. And one, two, three, these three input cells will govern or control the report and the output that that report delivers. Now we'll create that report next video. Now the specific goal in this video is to create a data validation drop down list in a single cell and then actually copy the cell to the side, which of course copies the data validation. But there's a problem. Let's see how data validation works by default. I click in the cell I want, G2, I go up to data, over to data tools, click data validation. Now in the data validation dialog box, allow, well, the default is any value because, of course, by default, you can put anything in a cell, but we want to limit. We want to limit items from a list. And the source, normally for region, we just click and drag a range. But check that out. By default, it is absolute. Those dollar signs means that it is locked. If we were to copy this cell to the side, it would still be looking at region. The second problem is that this goes from J6 to J12. If this were relative and we copied it to the side, there'd be a bunch of empty cells. Well, we can solve both of those problems in two different ways. Now, the first way I'm going to show you is, and I'm going to click Escape. Click in the top cell F2 when you do a dynamic spilled array formula. The formula only lives in the top cell. All of the cells below don't actually have a formula. You can see the ghost up in the formula bar F2, and there's nothing really there. But all of those emanate from the top cell. So when you refer to a dynamic spilled array formula, you just refer to whatever the top cell is, J6, K6, L6 with the pound symbol. So that's the first option we'll see. Now I'm going to use the keyboard Alt D L. Then to get to allow, I'm going to hit tab. Then to invoke list, I'm going to type L. And to jump to source text box tab. If I select J6, well, there's that absolute reference. But I just hit F4, one, two, three times. And then I type pound. That pound is the spilled range operator. It only works with dynamic spilled array formulas. And how does that pound work? Well, it says, I know the formula only lives in the top cell, and I don't care how many items spill from J6 or how many times it changes. I'm only getting the items that spill. And guess what? That's relative, so all we have to do is click OK. And then very carefully point to the fill handle, that little green box. And when you see your crosshair or angry rabbit, click and drag. If we check the first one, sure enough, perfect. Second one, oh, wow. Even the third one. If I change product and just add a new product W, well, I see it there. But is it in the dropdown? Sure enough, Control-Z. 
Now, the second method is more universal. It doesn't care if we have a dynamic spill array formula or all the items are just typed in. And before I do it in data validation, let me give you an example over here. Now, let me give you a simple example. I just want to get a unique list. And I'm going to add some values above maybe or below maybe. So all I'm going to do is highlight enough cells to accommodate anything I might add above or below. And watch this. You can click and hover and see that, sure enough, it is properly looking at all the cells. But if I put a dot before the colon, that tells the range if there's nothing in the cells above, please don't go and get it. So if I click the array and hover, oh, that is amazing. And if I do the same thing after, that's for below. Click hover. That's the magic of the dynamic range reference operator. Now I'm going to enter this and just see if it works. 25, and just like that, 30 working like a charm. So up here, Alt-D, L, Tab, L, Tab. And I'm only going to have some extra values below, perhaps. And in fact, in this case, I'm never going to get more because we have defined region, product, and sales rep in our data set. But what I want to do is hit the F4 key over here. One, two, three. Whoops, one, two, three. And since I'm only interested in the below here and here, I'm putting a dot. So we have the dot that will get rid of the empty cells. We have the relative reference that will allow us to copy. Click OK. Click and drag to the side. Is the drop down working? Yes, it is. Just like a charm. If I come over and add a sales rep, DD. Bam, there it is there. Did it show up in this one? There's DD, even sorted in the correct place. All right, so Alt-D-L. If you have a dynamic spilled array formula, then use spilled range operator, Alt-D-L. And if you want the more universal way that works with any range of cells, the dynamic range reference operator is the way to go. All right, we'll see you next, Excel Magic Trick 1911.